becoming a world leader in solar power one step at a time. This is a spectacular scenery. We have three hours inland China from Beijing, Anhui province. The reason why we're here is to understand the shift from the old economy towards the new and sustainable economy. Just uh, on my left side is the old uh, coal power plants, and several of them. And here, right here in this um, artificial lake, the Sangro has built the world's biggest solar power plant. As the largest energy consumer in the world, China needs to address its dependency on fossil fuels in order to combat climate change. China will need to increase their installed renewable power capacity to 680 gigawatts by 2020. This is a massive change for China. It's amazing to be part of this. It's actually very physical when you're here to see the big transition that is taking place right here, right now. companies benefiting from the ambitious targets for increased renewable power capacity is Sungro, based in Haifei, west of Shanghai. SG630MX. The SG630MX is a PV inverter which converts sunlight into electricity. This is SunGrow's contribution to a sustainable future. The inverter is placed on a floating platform between the solar panels. The main function of a PV inverter is to track the maximum power output of the PV array and then connect energy to the grid with minimum energy consumption and maximum power quality. Nice to meet you. Thank you very yeah. much for yeah. uh, making your time for this. Yeah, also very my pleasure to meet you. To the secretary of the board at Sungro, there is no doubt that coal is part of the problem, and renewables are part of the solution for China. Seventy percent electricity is coming from the coal. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so you can see that in the last years, the air pollution is very serious. We need to face and to resolve that. So that now the, the renewable energy policy policies is very. Uh, going very fast in China. How long time do you think it will take for China to be less dependent from coal? Core electricity from the core is only the keep the same level, only yeah. one percent or two. so that means S So basically coal is not going up, it's just on the same level. Yeah, and it's yeah, going the ratio down. is dead down. The last yeah. year is electricity from the P V increased almost three hundred percent. The engineer on location at the old coal mine emphasizes the benefits beyond delivering renewable electricity. How do you think that these solar panels on an old coal mine will change people's life here, around in this area? China is still the world's largest emitter of greenhouse gases. But as the market for transitioning to renewables continues to grow, Large investments are being made by the Chinese government. Uh, in the last, uh, last five or six years, the China has invested uh, the subsidy for the PV industry. It's around yeah. 100 billion. RMB, 100 billion. RMB to initiate uh, the domestic market. Yes. So I think the China government had to do a lot for the renewable energy. As investors, this is extremely interesting to see. And you are listed in the Shenzhen Stock Exchange. And yeah. you are, are you planning to list, be listed somewhere else in the world? Currently, maybe it's yeah. hard for us, for uh, the China list company to get the other okay. exchange market. But uh, maybe we can raise up some uh, new visitors. Yes, somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
You know, being in the middle of this, it can get you to be optimistic about it. But in the same time, we need to understand how close we are to the past and still how long distance is to the future from this perspective. But still one of the biggest problems in the world today is that the CO2 emissions are increasing due to the fact that the coal power plants like this one are uh, increasing their emissions all over the world. And we need to stop doing this and we need to start doing things like this uh, floating solar power plant and many other renewable energy solutions. And we need to do it yesterday, we need to do it now. Because if we don't do that, we are going to face challenges that might be difficult to tackle going forward.